In this video, we'll look at the difference between ammonia and the ammonium ion. So first off, ammonia, that's a molecule, NH3. It's neutral, doesn't have a charge, doesn't have a plus or a minus after it. So ammonia, neutral molecule. The ammonium ion, it's an ion. We say it's an ion. It has this positive charge, this one plus ionic charge. So that's one of the big differences. The next thing is the formula is different. We have three hydrogens here and four here. A big notable difference is ammonia has a very strong odor. The ammonium ion, that's odorless. If we count up the valence electrons, nitrogen has five, hydrogen has one, but we have three hydrogens. We'd have eight valence electrons for ammonia. For the ammonium ion, five plus one times four. And that positive charge, that means an electron has been lost. So we subtract one, five plus four is nine minus one, still eight. So they have the same number of valence electrons. If we look at the Lewis structure for each one, we can see those eight valence electrons, they're distributed around that central nitrogen. For the ammonium ion, we've put brackets around it and a positive sign to show it's an ion. We don't need to do that for ammonia since that's a neutral compound. When you look at the structures, you'll see these two electrons here. These are called unbonded electrons. So ammonia has two unbonded electrons called a lone pair. We don't have any lone pairs on the ammonium ion. That affects the structure, the molecular geometry and bond angles for ammonia and the ammonium ion. Let's take a look at that. For ammonia, we have that lone pair there and that's pushing down each one of those hydrogen atoms. So we end up with what's called a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry, kind of like a pyramid with those lone pair of electrons on the top. If we look at the ammonium ion, we have those four hydrogens attached to the central nitrogen we end up with a different molecular geometry. This molecular geometry is called tetrahedral. Let's go back to our Lewis structures. So now that we know the shape, we can draw our Lewis structure a little bit differently. Here the lines represent a pair of electrons shared between atoms. And you see the trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry for the ammonia, the ammonium ion, that has that tetrahedral molecular geometry. These bond angles right here are about 107 degrees. Over here, we have about 109.5 degrees. If you were asked to get a sample of ammonia, you could get ammonia gas, which just be NH3. There's also liquid ammonia if you cool it enough. The ammonium ion doesn't really exist by itself. It's always bonded to something like a chlorine. We'd have ammonium chloride, or it could be dissolved in water, surrounded by water molecules, aqueous. So that is another big difference between ammonia and the ammonium ion. This is Dr. B discussing the difference between ammonia and the ammonium ion. We have NH3 and NH4+. There are links in the description to more information about bond angle, molecular geometry, Lewis structures, and hybridization. Thanks for watching.